Hey guys, what's up? It's Catrice. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back. If we're family, I am not happy <laughs> to be fair and honest. I am absolutely not happy. The wind has been tormenting my garden for the last three days straight. In fact, it's still windy outside. I wouldn't care personally if it were windy, if all my plants were in containers. I forgot about this and I was not going to, well actually I was looking forward to giving you a tour of the garden and then of course the wind storms came through and then I was like, okay, well, do I have to keep waiting? And now that I've waited and it's still windy, and it looks, looks like the wind came through. Do I show the garden in its tormented state or do I skip over it? So I am going to do another silent garden tour this week. Stay tuned to walk with me and take a look at everything. Eventually I hope to do an actual garden tour where I tell you what everything is and what I have growing, but I just cannot do it with the aggressiveness of the wind outside. I want you to hear me. One thing that I will say um, is when it comes to container gardening, especially when you have big plants in smaller containers, and if you're in a windy area, chances of things getting blown over, beat up, ripped out, I think, maybe magnified and I definitely have lost some plants this the last within the last three three days um, not a ton I've definitely my plants have definitely suffered some damage especially my delphiniums if you watch the original garden tour and you look so watch that first and then come back and then when you come through you'll see how bad they've been beaten up. And I know some of you are gonna tell me to just go ahead and chop them off, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna let them do what they do. They're still gonna bloom for us, I believe. They're just not gonna look as magnificent as I originally thought they would look. And I'll just have to take it as it comes. Like I'm not in charge of that. So I also wanted to talk to you about what else I'm going to be planting and we're gonna to continue to just amp up the garden and hopefully at the at the end of all this, even though that we're going through some trials and tribulations, it all just works out fine. Um, I am going to be seeding some more basil outside today. I don't have any outside. All my basil's inside, that doesn't make any sense. So we're gonna make sure we get some outside in the garden today. I'm also really excited about planting these. So I got them from Big Lots and it's supposed to be a dwarf sunflower. I love sunflowers, they're just a really, I don't know, I really like them. And I'm hoping that they're actually dwarf sized. And I don't know what their definition of dwarf size is. So we're gonna have to tear into this, we're gonna have to see if there's any more instructions but it does say on the container, <clears throat> contains everything you need, everything you need. So we're gonna see if it contains everything I need and if we're gonna get dwarf sunflowers out of this and if we do get dwarf sunflowers out of it, then I'm hoping that I can propagate the seeds maybe, propagate. I'm hoping that I can save the seeds from these and continue to give out dwarf size sunflowers because I think that would be a lot of fun. Also, I got some other um, things in the mail. I know a lot of people tend to do like unboxings. I'd be lying if I said that I was happy with this company. I'm actually not happy with this company at all. I ordered this stuff back in, oh my gosh, March and I am just now getting my items. I know, I get it, COVID life, right? Wrong. They sent me some of my items, then 
didn't send me any of my plants until two days ago and then canceled the other two plants in my order because I'd asked for them to cancel my stuff weeks ago. So now I have stuff that like the last two plants that they actually canceled would have been the ones that I wanted the most. It was a Rasmataz grape and um, there were very mixed reviews on the Rasmataz so I just wanted to try it out and see for myself. And then my the, the Clematis that I wanted, the one thing that's supposed to be trailing on my arbor and now I have nothing on there and I just can't bring myself to figure out what else I would want on there. So I'm just like, whatever. So I say all that to say, I'm not telling you what company I ordered from. I don't think it matters. I wouldn't order from them again. Um, if the seeds end up turning out really well, I'll let you know down the long run, but just uh, stick with regular companies. That's all I'm gonna say. And local, I love shopping locally for my stuff. Um, I got two white calla lilies, which I'm excited for because the wind literally ripped my calla lilies out of their pot, gone. I thought I was doing my calla lilies a service. I went to the store, saved them from the distress section, and now they are more distressed than they could have ever been. So there's that. So two white calla lilies. I'm excited about getting these ones in some pots. I also have, oh, I fell in love with anemones last year. Uh, I, did, I, I just love the look of the plant. So I'm really hoping that these take off for me. I am slowly starting to put together a moon garden in one of my pots. So one of the pots just has all white blooms. I need to double check and see how much space this needs, but I think it'll go in my moon garden, I think. And then lastly, I am going to be planting a plum flambe summer spice. And that's a hibiscus, which I don't have space for. I have absolutely no idea where this is gonna go. I could very well need to get another pot for this, even though I shouldn't, but I have a feeling that the pots that I have left over just not, or might not do this any service, but we'll see. Um, but these were just for fun and we'll, we'll see how they perform being planted here June 8th. So they're going into pots June 8th and We'll see what their progress is over the next few months here. Luckily, the growing season is relatively long. It should be fine, but I don't know. This company made me mad. I really would have rather had them sooner. So I don't know if you've been able to hear the wind this whole time, but I am going to take you outside to show you the garden. Keep in mind that some things are moved around to kind of protect it from the wind so it doesn't look like it normally looks, but there's some, there's some changes. So stick around, let's go see. <laughs> 